you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before In a movie line We can ride our own end in this time my channel today is Friday July 12th and it's a little bit of a different morning I usually don't film on Fridays but I decided to this week to show you kind of like a different day and what I do so usually Friday mornings I sleep in a bit and at like six o'clock I got up this morning and I did a quick 20 minute workout and I think you guys saw my kids were just getting up around 6 30 which was at the end of my workout so I feel like Friday is a little bit more relaxed, but I actually have a really busy day today. The kids right now, um, right now it's 721. So I actually have to get moving because I do have a meeting at 9 a.m. and I wanna drop them off and also stop at Starbucks to get coffee. I always get coffee at Starbucks on Friday. It's just kind of part of my Friday routine. Sometimes Pete works from home on Fridays, but today he had to go into the office because I think he had some meetings. Anyway, the kids are over there. They're eating some pancakes right now. And um, I wanted to share with you guys these new water bottles that I got from the brand Ello. They are so, so cute. This one is a dinosaur and this one is a little unicorn. One for Chase, one for Quinn. And Chase especially has been begging me. He's going to kindergarten in August and he's been asking me to have a new water bottle when he starts school. So uh, this is perfect timing. Of course, in this hot Texas weather they have their water bottles with them literally 24 7 like they go to school with them and then if on the weekends if we go in the car or anywhere or to the pool or something we always have their water bottles with them so these are super perfect they have these little carry handles which make it really easy for the kids to just pick up and grab they are 100 percent leak proof so if you dump them upside down they're not going to leak they also one of the kids favorite features on these is they have this little like push open lid so you just like push this little button in the front and the lid pops off and then it's got this silicone straw which is really comfortable and easy to drink out of. It also has this lock feature on the side where you can lock the lid so that it doesn't come off if the kids are playing around and you want to make sure that the lid stays closed. So if you lock it in place here when you press this the, the open button it doesn't open and then if you unclick it here you go. They are also dishwasher safe if you put them on the top level of your dishwasher. They are stainless steel on the inside, so they are gonna keep the water cold for 24 hours. They are also BPA and BPS free, so they're completely safe. They're the perfect addition to just throw in the kids' backpacks as they head off to daycare during the summer, and then as we transition into the fall and Chase goes off to kindergarten. Um, I actually, Chase was using this at school yesterday, and I came to pick him up at his classroom and all of the kids were like oh my gosh I really love Chase's new water bottle it's so cool so so all the kids in Chase's class are loving it and they do too they're asking to have their water bottles right now you want to show them how you drink oh it's locked Quinn sorry 
See, the lock really works. Watch this, it's it? really close. Oh, yeah, they love the, you love to flip it, don't you? Thank you so much to Ello for the water bottles and sponsoring today's video. I will link these in the description box below if you want to get some for your kids for back to school or just in the summer to keep hydrated. I'm just gonna go get the kids' dishes cleaned up, get them changed for daycare and hit the road. Hi guys, it is 8.30 right now. I just got home from dropping the kids off and I got my Starbucks. Mm. They made it really good today. So um, I need to head inside. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. and then I have my performance evaluation due today. So I am pretty much done with it. I just need to kind of edit it down and take another pass at it. And I cannot wait to get that submitted because it's been just like looming this entire week and like last week and everything. It's just a big to do. Anywho, I also wanted to share, I have been listening to this new podcast called Three, and it is really good. It's about these two girls that murdered their best friend, and it's just wild. I just, like, they were 16 years old. It's crazy. So if you're looking for a new podcast and you like true crime, which I do, then go check it out. It's, it's very good. I almost finished it in, like, two days. So um, I was just listening to that in the car driving back home. So, um, all right, I'm going to head inside. Quinn actually has an ear doctor appointment later this afternoon for like her tubes and to check how they're doing. And I think she might even get them taken out if they're still even in there because she's three and a half now. So interested to see what they say about that. So I'm going to pick the kids up at like 2.30 and her appointment's at 3. And Chase has been asking me to go to Panda Express and like get orange chicken and rice and I think that he saw this on some YouTube video he was watching and so he's been asking about it so I think we're gonna get the kids Panda Express tonight for dinner I don't know if they're gonna like it but we'll see all right I'm gonna head inside I will check back in a little while Hi guys, it's 1126 and I just submitted my performance evaluation. I, oh my gosh, I just feel like such a weight is lifted off me. I don't know why. Let me know in the comments. Like my goals and my performance review is such an intense process at my organization and I feel like it's just not like that in other like jobs. I had like over 20 different individual goals that have specific like KPIs tied to them, whether it was like a headcount number, a registration number, a revenue number, things like that. And then a bunch of different like processes that you had to create or contribute to. And oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff. It's very overwhelming because you kind of work through different things throughout the year. And once they're over, like if certain things have like an event, like it comes and it goes. And after that, you kind of like are done with it. But then re-looking at everything that I worked on throughout the year, it's kind of crazy to look back and see how much like we actually did and achieved and things like that. So I don't know when everything is kind of in a list and then you have to go back and like pull numbers from different places and provide recommendations and feedback and takeaways and stuff like that. There's just so much. Anyway, it is submitted and I am so thankful that it's done. <laughs> I am breathing a sigh of relief. So I, I also had a meeting at nine, that went fine. I have another meeting at noon. So I actually need to go back and take a look at this document and review it before my meeting. I feel like this is a very stressful Friday and I don't like that. I wanna just like ease into the weekend and it's just like July, it's just not the time. Anywho, I'm gonna go prepare that and then I think once that's done, I'm just gonna relax and maybe sit on the couch for a half an hour and watch TV or something during my lunch break. Um, oh my gosh, I just started watching The Mole on Netflix I never watched that show before, but I am hooked. I watched, I think like two and a half episodes just last night and I'm all about it. Like I can't wait to watch another one. So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys watch The Mole and what you think. I guess I kind of like those competition type shows. 
Like I love Traders and I cannot wait for the next season of Traders to come on. It's got just so many people that I love on there. So I feel like that one's gonna be really good. I'm also trying to catch up on Real Housewives of New Jersey. I've fallen behind by like three episodes. So I don't know, I'm gonna get on top of that too. Um, yeah, so that's what's up. I don't, I feel like this week I've really been slacking on just household chores. We had people over on Saturday, last Saturday and the house, I don't know, when there's a ton of people in the house and it was raining. So I feel like our floors got really gross and I was like a mad woman. I feel like everybody left at maybe like 8.30 at night around and after that i like scrubbed my house i did my floors i you know cleaned all of the surfaces my house was a complete disaster because there were so many kids running around and they were bringing toys from like the upstairs into the downstairs i was getting heart palpitations because of just like the clutter and the mess so i was a mad woman and i spent almost two hours cleaning my house on saturday so i feel like i got that out of the way and yeah, and then I also, um, I had, I was caught up on laundry and everything. So that was nice. The one thing that I really just don't feel like doing is cleaning my kids' bathrooms. I need to do that, but I don't think I'm going to do it today. I'll probably wait until maybe tomorrow, uh, or Sunday and just, it doesn't take a long time, but I just, I don't know. I'm my, I'm like maxed out on doing things. I need to take a a break. So I'm going to head back to my desk and then I will catch up with you a little later on this afternoon. It is once again like storming. I I feel like Mother Nature is testing Houston. I am praying that this is not gonna result in a loss of power or anything. Cray cray. It's 103 right now and oh my god. I had a little egg bite, like the Starbucks egg bites that you can get at Costco. I just heated those up and I was watching the mole. Guys, it is just so good. I don't know how or why I never thought to watch the show, but like I'm obsessed. Anyway, I am going to head back to work and just wrap up some stuff for the week. Check on next week. I'm actually going into the Houston office next Tuesday. We have like a team kind of offsite meeting. So a bunch of people that are, that work for the business unit that I have been supporting are gonna be coming to the Houston office and having this little like offsite meeting for a couple of days and going to dinner and stuff like that. So I'm gonna come in for a couple of brainstorming sessions. Oh my God. Jeez, that was freaking loud. Man, it's really coming down out there and I have to leave in like an hour to go pick up the kids and take them to Quinn's ear doctor appointment. I hope it's not downpouring like this because that's going to be just like a complete disaster. Just trying to get them in and out of the car and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to head back to work, wrap some stuff off, and then I will check in in a little bit. all right it's 3 44 we had a, a successful ear doctor appointment Quinn's tubes are still in her ear and everything looks good no infections or anything and they said that we could come back in a year and they're gonna take them out if they haven't fallen out before then so we're good to go we're gonna head home now get Chase his Panda Express for dinner I'm having Chipotle cannot wait so excited and obviously gonna be watching the mole tonight <laughs> before I go to bed 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was a little different. Just wanted to share what like a non-traditional day looks like. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you real soon in the next one. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye.